Okay, so we're in a bit of a tizzy today. We're scheduled for the movers to come at one. It is not 8.45 and they called, just called and said, we're on our way, we'll be there at nine. But thankfully, I think since we're not taking that much, it won't be as chaotic, but you know, we were planning to work out, we were gonna feed the dogs. The dogs just had their teeth cleaning, so they're not feeling very good. I'm on day one of the period, so I'm not feeling very good. So it's a little chaotic. I'm gonna finish and then the movers are gonna be here. All right, so here it is. Everything that we are moving to Houston. Doesn't actually seem that much, does it? Besides this furniture, that's it. Everything else is starting new. And then of course we're keeping this place to peer space it out, so that's also why. Oh yeah, I got a new couch. I will um, come wait you down. our last full day living permanently in LA. So Luke's medication is done, so I think I'll shower and then run the errands. Oh, and then come back. Mm -hmm. and then come back. Three double doubles? Yeah, two without tomato. The one without tomato had the onions on it and then two well fries. So for the last day, Brian apparently wanted some in and out Oh, by the way, I also did get um, Luke's meds for the trip. Oh God, where are they? These are Trazodone. Um, Luke in general, I think is a pretty like anxious traveler. Even in the car, he's always panting, but at least when we're driving, if we notice that he's like super uncomfortable, we can like at least pull over. And we've flown with him with both the dogs twice. And he's just like, Ugh. So I'm hoping the Trazodone will make him feel better. We will see. Buddy. 
their tiny tiny. Dog bowls. Dog yeah, bowl. we can get that at Target. Their dog beds are coming tomorrow. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Go, buddy. It's yours. Come on. First pee. I just slept 10 hours for the first time in years. My body can't handle this much sleep. <laughs> okay, good morning. I needed to shower. It's been a long couple, two days, but um, we have been here about a week. Actually, tomorrow we'll make it officially one week since we flew from LA to Houston. Here is a quick, I'm gonna show y'all a quick little tour. This is our bedroom. Then we go to the hallway. It came with a stacked washer dryer. And then here's the second bedroom or the guest bedroom. This one is still a good size. It's a little bit uh, on the smaller side, but I think what I might do is do a Murphy bed situation. And then we walk into the living room, dining room situation. Yes, I've been sleeping in the living room. This is a temporary couch from um, Ikea's as is section. So we got it, I think probably about like 80% off. And yeah, things are, furniture will start to come in for this in June. And then here is the dining room, the faux brick wall and the blue walls will be removed even though I do love a kind of like statement wall. To me, the faux wall, faux brick wall is not it. And then here's the kitchen. It's a pretty decent size. Um, if I had all the money in the world, which I'm speaking to a contractor about in two weeks, so we'll see how much it is. But what I would love to do is kind of knock down these walls if it's not supporting anything and then actually move the kitchen over, bring in a kitchen island and just make this section a little bit more open. Oh, and the bathroom. And here's the bathroom. Very cute. And I'm also talking to the um, contractor about maybe, there's just a lot of things in my mind that I think I want to do, but I don't know if it's possible. So I think once I understand what can be done and how much it'll cost, I'll get a better understanding about what I want to do right now. But right now the focus is the living room and the dining or the bedroom because those things for sure will not change in terms of size. We had, or I had, because I was the only one here, I smelt some, I smelt gas basically. And on Friday, I called the gas company to come inspect it to make sure that there wasn't a gas leak. I called them at 11.30. They arrived at 12.30 and they were here until 2.30. And then ultimately they just turned off the gas and said, you know, call a plumber, see if they can find the gas leak. So that's basically why I 
am sleeping in the living room. And even though it's fixed, the plumber fixed everything, we don't have a gas leak, I'm actually a little bit more comfortable in the living room, I think because the bedroom is so empty, it kind of scares me. <laughs> so I'm just sleeping in uh, the living room now because it just feels, I don't know, a little bit more homey. And I'm just realizing that like, home ownership is like starting a business. Because you know, I started Master Plan a couple years ago and it's like, you think it's a good idea and it is, but the beginning of it, you know absolutely nothing and you learn the most through making all these mistakes. I do wanna show you a few things because these are things that we have to do. We have a pergola outside, but the previous homeowner removed kind of the covering above the door. And because there's no covering, when Houston has these torrential downpours, it falls right into the front door. So this is soaking wet right now. We had thunderstorms last night, which was actually pretty scary. I've never experienced that before. They were so loud. So I actually originally thought that we could restore kind of the original hardwood floors, but looking at it, like this is obviously rotted. This is uneven right here. I can feel it uneven. Obviously opening up the kitchen and stuff isn't something that's a priority, but the two things that are a priority that we will start to do in May is changing the pergola to have a roof over it so water no longer goes into our front door. And then also add gutters because this house doesn't have gutters. And then change the flooring um, throughout the entire house. It has been a very wild journey, but we did get, we launched our peer space last night actually, or maybe two nights ago, and we've already got four bookings. So there's a lot going on. I've been feeling really neglectful of master plan lately um, because I said in the beginning of the year that I wanted to launch a daily planner. I wanted to launch an Excel budget spreadsheet. I wanted to launch my <laughs> budget course and it's just like the daily planner is finishing up but everything else is honestly just not a priority for me right now and I feel really bad about that because a small business absolutely should be a priority but I'm hoping after summer I can, and we have rooms in this house that I can actually like sit down and do work in, um, I can start doing that. But the boys are so exhausted because I've just been letting them run around in the yard and we've been going on walks visiting Brian's sister, my sister-in-law who lives up the street from us. So it's a very exciting time. It's a very new experience for us, but I'm definitely learning a lot. And I'm, I'm really excited for hopefully what the peer space and what the Houston space can like become. Thanks so much for watch watching. As we start doing renovations, I will definitely be vlogging the experience because there are definitely things that I want to renovate that I want to learn how to do myself, not like by myself, I'm not a DIYer. I like know my place. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and welcome to Houston.